Welcome back. When it comes to raids and robberies on ATMs, this next one takes the cake. The bandit stole a council bobcat, then used it to try to remove the money machine. And it was all caught on camera. Dumb and dangerous. These are incredibly dangerous, not only for the criminals, but more importantly for all our customers and our staff members as well. ATMs, they're nicknamed the hole in the wall, and sometimes that's what you end up with. Two nights ago in Perth, desperate criminals tried to make an unauthorised withdrawal from this automated teller machine. Their crime spree began at the local council depot, where they used a $6 key bought on eBay to steal a bobcat. Police assumed the thieves were planning to use the bobcat to remove the ATM and steal the cash. But the hapless would-be bandits overshot their mark and ended up knocking the ATM back into the bank. They fled empty-handed. Becoming more common because I think there's a perception amongst some of the criminals that these are soft targets. Across the country, ATMs have been targeted by criminals with mixed results. 15 machines have been rammed or set on fire in Western Australia in the past few weeks alone. While this ram raid and robbery took place in broad daylight in Sydney's CBD. Someone's just ram raided the ATM machine. They're smashing it with a fucking axe. In the outer suburbs of Melbourne, thieves were able to knock this ATM over before a second vehicle entered the shopping centre. The ATM was then loaded into the van. But the thieves hit a wall on the way out and the van lost its load. They got nothing but the shopping centre and the bank were left with a $50,000 repair bill. The damage done to property is often greater than the value of the ATMs, uh, the cash that would have been in there. So now the banks and the shopping centres are fighting back with the help of Richard Gould from Locket Systems Australia. He makes the Raminator, which is a kind of shock absorber for ATMs. We put a plate on the ATM which actually separates the ATM from the ground and when the energy goes into the plate, there's not enough to drive it off the ground. You can see the Raminator in action during this attempted robbery in Melbourne's north. The would-be thieves used a stolen car to partially knock over the ATM. But crucially, thanks to the Raminator, it remains bolted to the ground. They can do all they like around it, ram it again if they want. That ATM staying where it is, which is on the ground where it was. Banks and shopping centres are currently rolling out this technology right across the country to ensure the only way anyone can get money from an ATM is by using a card. The reality is they're not a soft target's ATMs anymore. There are a number of controls in place to ensure they stay protected. They are not the low-hanging fruit that people used to think they are. How good's the Raminator? And police tell us those bandits are still on the run, so lock up your bobcats.